What up guys, how are you guys doing? I'm Tyler, and we're back with another How To Slice. In today's How To Slice video, we're gonna be checking out some awesome earrings. So, let's go. So these are really cute earrings, and in this video, we're gonna be checking out the best print settings to print this. So, let's go. So let's take a look. Right here, we got this log. This is the skeleton. Right here, we got a pug, a cat, a dash hound, a shark, dino, and a monkey. Let's go to the video right now. So as you can see, we got multiple styles. So if you take a look, there is a magnet version. So you can just um, glue in a magnet and a tap version with a tap cover. So you can just um, buy a separate tap and install it and just glue and cover it and it will look really nice. And right here, we got some fun models too. This is a really nice model because it looks like the shark or the dino is biting on the ears. So let's go to the print settings. So first off, let's, let's take a look at layer height. We're gonna be decreasing this value so it is at 0.20 millimeters. We're gonna be reducing to 0.20. 12 millimeters this way we're going to be reducing the layer height by reducing the layer height we're going to have more layers to print so it's going to take more time to print but we're going to have a finer and better quality and for small pieces like this it's crucial because if you have a really small part and each layer is at a 0.20 millimeters you're going to be able to see those lines and you don't want to see them so in small really small models we got to reduce this value to 0.12 millimeters over here in vertical shells we're going to be leaving at three so the standard just to get a really rigid model going over to fill density we can be increasing to 10 percent this is perfect so the standard um 10 percent with chiroid is perfect to get a really dense model right here on um, skirt and brim Let's analyze if this model really needs brim. So as you can see, um, all of the parts do not have the best bed adhesion. It would be considered to add brim to increase the, sur the surface of contact. But I will go a step forward and recommend something first. Before, if you have some bed adhesion issues, there are multiple causes to have some bed adhesion issues. So your print might be unsticking from the build plate. To avoid that, first off, you should always level your printer. So with a level printer, you're going to get a good first layer, a really solid one that has good surface of area of contact to the build plate. Because if you print too high off, your, all your film, filament are just going to drop down and it's not going to have a solid layer to stick to the build plate. Other than that, I would recommend with this is a really nice tip to always clean your build plate so clean it with some isopropylic alcohol or detergent just to remove all of the dust and oils from your finger that are on the build plate oils from your finger will impact a lot the bad adhesion it's not gonna help your filament stick to the build plate so always consider um, cleaning your build plate Whichever print you're gonna do, even if it's a really um, tiny uh, part or a really big part, because the first layer is the most important layer. If your build plate's really dirty, your first layer is not going to be at a good result. And the first layer is the most important layer because all of the other layers are gonna go on top of this one. If you do not have a really well printed out first layer, all the other layers are going to be a really good print. So um, I would not recommend, I would recommend doing this before adding any brim. If you have issues with, um, if you still have issues, I do rec uh, I would reconsider brim. I do consider brim, but before clean your build plate, get it really leveled and print it really slowly. You're not gonna need any brim, but if you want, feel free to add a two millimeter brim just to secure the pieces to the build plate so like this one you can be adding brim this is the skeleton it's quite um tall so you can be adding brim to do this i'm going to be showing you a really nice tip to add to specific parts of your print so a really nice tip 
if you would let's say you want to add brim just to this part if you go over here and add brim this is adding brim to the whole project if let's so um let's say you just want um, brim on this part and do not need you do not want to add brim to the um um, dyno right here that's got a good surface of contact the build plate what you can do is just select it so right here go add settings so right click add settings go to skirt and brim brim type brim width this way you're going to be adding c outer brim only a three millimeter this way we just added a brim to just this part. This is a really nice tip to know on your slicer. I'm working here with Bruce's slicer, but you can be um, using for other slicers. So let's say you want to add to this part too. You do not need to select it um, and go to the settings, add skirt or brim. You can just select skirt or brim, right? Skirt and brim right here that we have already added to this body that um, uses magnet, you can just select Command C or Control C, copy, go to the other part, paste, Control V or Command V, and now you have added brim. So now you got brim to this two specific parts right here. I'm not gonna be adding brim to the other parts. I do recommend cleaning your build plates really well um, and may, um, you're not gonna have any issues and will not need any brim but if you want you can just be adding to this um, really high part this is optional so right here skirt and brim this is going to help a lot going back to the print settings as i have shown we're not going to be adding any brim right here on support material all of these models are optimized so we do not need any support material at all um, all of the overhangs and uh, bridges your printer can print going over to speed this is really important we're going to have to slower down the speed on bamboo lab printers half of the speed is perfect um, i do always um i always say this because it's really important always print in this cases that are the models are not uh they're really small or they're really critical much overhangs or anything like that i would reconsider i would consider printing it slowly it's better to print um one time slowly than have to print three times um trying to print it really fast so um print it slowly to get a good result and reduces the chance of your print failing especially if you're at a low-end printer and um it's not if you're not really secure and confident with your print so on small parameters, I do recommend going down this value to print all of these models really slowly to get a good result. So reduce this value. Right here, we can just go a st step forward and reduce to, let's say, 60 millimeters. On our test, uh, we got some great results by printing it really slowly. So we can be going down and print it, changing the, the configurations to print at a really um, low pace what I would recommend if you just change to small parameters right here to 50 um, sometimes as most of the uh, earrings are really small you just change small parameters and it's gonna uh, change the configuration to all of the model because everything is a small parameter but we're gonna be going down right here and just uh, reducing um, everything to 60 millimeters around 60 millimeters um, some of these configurations as support material is not even going to change, but it's better to get a really slow value. This is for the Ender 2 V3SE on Babel Lab printers. Printing half of the speed is going to get a really good and solid print. Going over to first layer speed, print it at slow pace. As I have said before, the first layer is the most important layer because it's going to determine um, if your print is going to get a good result or not. So now let's slice. So as you can see, we have slice and it's going to take seven hours and 52 minutes to print all of them. Feel free to choose which one you find it best. As you can see, they look quite nice with a 
12 millimeter layer height. As I hope you guys enjoy it. Those slicing videos are an initiative from STL Academy, which is the educational project from Astelflix. So if you guys want to learn more about 3D printing, you could check our description and look at STL Academy courses. And don't forget, see you guys at the next slicing.